Hey guys, it's Lauren here popping in today to share with you a 9 by 12 inch layout using some beautiful Heidi Swap products. Now the majority of these products are from the Hawthorne collection and that um, I think that's one of her planner products and the Project Life cards over there are from the Magnolia Jane collection I believe. Now I just pulled all those out because I have a very special photo to scrapbook and that is of myself and Heidi. I was super lucky to attend one of her classes while she was in Australia last June and I snapped this selfie of us and it's really special. It's taken me a long time to, well as you can see we're now in April 2019 so it's taken me almost nearly a year to scrapbook uh, these memories but um, I really just felt today that I just wanted to sit down and create a quick layout and when I grabbed the photos that I really want to get around to scrapbooking this one jumped out at me and I thought what a why don't I just find all my Heidi goodies and make a quick layout. So the reason why I'm doing this in a 9 by 12 format is because this will form part of my 2018 Project Life album. Each month in my 2018 album I did a couple of layouts sort of as feature layouts of highlighted moments throughout each month and so this will form part of the June highlights in 2018. I'm still a little bit behind in 2018 but I'm really enjoying just plodding along and finishing that uh, Project Life album off so I'm not too stressed out about it. So this here, this piece of paper here is out of one of her planner products and I just thought with these beautiful florals which are really signature Heidi um, I just wanted to sort of incorporate that into the layout. So I did some fussy cutting as you can see up the top there with that beautiful cluster and I just used my blade to cut out a portion of that flower cluster down on the bottom using my blade because I kind of just wanted us to blend into that flower cluster there and and it sort of helps create dimension when you don't want to use foam as this is going into an already very thick uh, scrapbooking album I didn't want to add too much dimension or could avoid it where possible um, and so a way of still creating dimension is using um, just a blade and cutting out those flowers and inserting things in and behind things it's also using different textures like that wood grain in my background there and then the stripe you can still by looking at it you can see that there's sort of a different level there and that's just sort of a bit of a trick of the eye and I haven't used any dimension well I haven't stuck it down at all yet but I haven't used any dimension there to to create that effect so here I am I've grabbed a couple of Heidi's stamp sets and just pulling out some of the floral florals there and I'm also going to use one of her title words as a title for this layout as well which is the word special we all love Heidi's handwriting and you know I really wish I could just write like that but um, unfortunately I was not blessed with a gift of beautiful handwriting um, and I'm thankful Heidi has created these stamp sets so that we can enjoy those um, that lovely scripty font on our projects as well so just using some stays on ink I've just stamped out those florals and that title there and now I'm just going to fussy cut them out now I I tend to fall back a lot on fussy cutting I think people have sort of labeled my scrapbooking as you know if there's something not fussy cut on it it's really not a traditional Lauren layout which I find quite funny I don't know why I keep doing it but um I find that when I'm fussy cutting, although these fiddle, these things are a bit fiddly, the more you do it, the more you sort of uh, get your eye in and it, and it does speed up there. Um, so here I am just cutting out those elements and I'm just taking it steady. But as I am, I think it's sort of my brain's kind of catching up with me and working out, um, you know, how much distance I want from the ink. And it tends to just all start flowing really fast. I am going supersonic speed here now but that is the gift of Final Cut Pro not my my hand uh, cutting skills <laughs> um, so here I am just pulling out some of the ephemera pack which is from the Hawthorne collection now this adds a bit of an outdoorsy kind of feel and but I really love the tones and colors so I was just trying to make some of the elements work on this on this layout which I, I managed to score a few little bits and pieces but I'm 
I'm, my husband and I are hopefully taking a holiday. We are thinking that we might head over to the States later in the year and um, go and visit some national parks and things like that. And this, these, these pieces of ephemera, which are sort of outdoorsy travel, kind of wood, woody feel, um, is would be perfect for those for those memories that aren't yet made but so I was thinking about that um whilst I was going through all these bits and pieces thinking I think I need to save some of these for our holiday but um yeah so here I am so I'm just placing them out I've just sorted through the ephemera pieces and I'm just setting my layout I'm tackling that glue I uh, if you know of a great wet glue, can you let me know in the comments? One that doesn't dry out, one that doesn't clog, one that's um, not super quick drying. Um, I, I really love a great glue, a wet glue, because sometimes I get a bit lazy and I don't want to do all the fiddly stuff like I'm doing here with this double-sided tape. I just want to stick and plonk you know just get some wet glue whack it on the back and stick it down I find that when I'm really busy and uh, which when the school terms on I feel like I'm running all the time with children's commitments I I just think I, I want my scrapbooking to speed up as well and one way of doing that I think would be to find a really great wet glue just to make this sticking time a little shorter for me but as you can see here I'm just placing out some of the fussy cut florals and just setting it out and thinking about um, do I want to add any more ephemera what am I doing with my journaling I'm also reflecting on the time that we had in the class I really I've, I've had the fortunate um well, I'm very lucky. I've been scrapbooking a very long time and Heidi, I think, has been scrapbooking longer than that, so probably well over 20 years. And it's been lovely watching her journey and also to see her evolution in 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 what she, the message she sends over time. She's always been positive. She um, emanates authenticity and encouragement and she's non-judgmental she's happy she's committed to family and and she demonstrates trying her best to have a work life balance and and her life experiences she's she's been able to share with us recently on on what's important in life and what what we really need to be thinking about and why documenting our memories and our moments and journaling about not just who the where, when and why, journaling our feelings, our thoughts, our advice, our guidance is so important and you know and printing our just printing our photos out and making sure that we're delighting in our memories and having those special people around us enjoy that process as well and in and hear us delight in them and I think those um those messages that she shared with us while she was doing the class really resonated with me and I and I I feel like I got a double bonus I went there to learn um, some scrapbooking and I walked away feeling nurtured and inspired and not only creatively but also authentically which is was a super gift um so yeah anyway back on back on to the back on to the project at hand I I just felt like I wanted to border this layout it's going into a really busy album and I thought if we added just a thin white border or a, a lighter border around the layout it sort of draw it will draw the layout together and sort of finalize it if that makes sense so I just grabbed some of the more hawthorn and I'm just putting a really small border around it and it also made this page a little bit more sturdy without adding too much dimension which you know I really like that feel in my albums as well. So as you can see this is a really quick layout just putting little bits of pieces of ephemera around here I am thinking about my journaling while I'm just checking out what stickers I want and it, it came together really easily I, I didn't want this layout to take too long I I just wanted to sit down and quickly create something feel a little bit you know creatively my my creative cup filled up and this layout just added all sort 
filled filled my cup up but also screen prettiness and it allowed me to reflect on a moment in time that was nearly 12 months ago and feel inspired to create again. These little gold glittery stickers are also out of Heidi's sort of planner range and they're just lovely. They're super tiny and I think they'd be perfect for project life. So I've just added the word moments there or moment there. Um, so the title being special moment and I've just um, used a piece of ephemera down the bottom there which um, adds sort of a secondary title there and keeping within the kind of triangle theme of scrapbooking I've added the um, you and me journaling card there which is a beautiful piece of ephemera and I'm just adding my journaling now and that that sort of finishes the layout oh actually the, the how, it would not be a signature layout if I didn't put sprinkle it with some gold Heidi shine there <laughs> in the end. So you'll see me do that in a second. If you like this layout and you like my style, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope you enjoyed my process video. Um, and if you have, please subscribe to my channel. And if you think your friends would like it, I'd love you to hit that share button because that really helps my channel sort of grow and, and creatively be a part of my life all right guys I hope you like this layout and I'll be back again really soon with a new video for you take care bye